What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Introducing new 2.5 gig internet. It's not just fast, it's recklessly fast. Learn more at epb.com. You may use Google to search the internet. Well, that could change after a federal judge ruled against that mega tech business in an antitrust case. Well, the judge called Google a monopoly and the decision and penalty could open the door for other search engines. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, explains. Well, none of us think about how these tech deals work, but Google has paid Apple and other companies some $26 billion to be the default search engine. Got an iPhone? Got an Android device? You have no choice but to search the internet using Google without downloading a third-party app. That all changes with this judge's ruling, and there's some pretty good search engines that you haven't tried. DuckDuckGo is best for privacy. It doesn't save your search requests and doesn't track your internet activity. It blocks dangerous websites, trackers, manages passwords, and includes a VPN for premium users. Microsoft Bing is the default search engine for PCs in the Edge browser, has a beautiful start page with the latest news and weather, saves your search history, but you can delete that with a tap or a click. Bing also has Microsoft's AI tool, Copilot, on the homepage. You also earn points with each search that you can use to purchase apps and games from the Microsoft Store. And speaking of AI, Perplexity is an artificial intelligence search engine. Ask it a question just like you would ask a person. Perplexity returns answers and links and suggests relevant follow-up questions. Since Google Search is on your phone, it's easy to use, but it's not necessarily the best search engine. If you're concerned with privacy, you can use these other search engines by going to their websites or downloading their apps. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.